Now, WGEL News 8's Weather on the 8s with meteorologist Christine Ferreira. Good morning. It is 618 on this Friday and today should be mainly dry throughout the day. Some showers will return this evening and then rain is likely tonight. You might even hear rumbles of thunder with this cold front coming through. That will lead to a warm Saturday behind this weak front. Temperatures aren't going to cool off. In fact, they'll be going up on Saturday. We're looking for highs in the mid 70s. Rain, it's back again on Sunday. Some showers in the morning and afternoon. Better chance of rain late Sunday through early Monday. Today, News 8 Storm Team forecast calls for mostly cloudy skies. It's overcast this morning. We should see a high of 70, even despite the clouds. So warm and windy is the call. Winds will be 15 to 25 miles per hour, again with some evening showers. Tonight, here comes the cold front. Showers likely, some rumbles of thunder too. Mild temperatures overnight, 54 to 58. And tomorrow looks gorgeous, partly sunny, mid 70s, warm, pleasant. Can't beat it on a Saturday. Looking great for all those Easter egg hunts. I'll have your forecast coming up. Here's a live look at Samuel S. Lewis State Park. Overcast skies are hanging around this morning, but as we head into the afternoon, we could see a break or two of sun leading to temperatures close to 70. Right now, certainly milder than it was yesterday at this time. Yesterday, I was reading off some 30s. This time, we're closer to 50. Today's weather and health report, our cedar tree pollen levels at last reading were moderate. Air quality is good. UV index, it's going to be a bit lower due to the cloud cover. 45 minute burn time today. Live look at our satellite picture. You can see some clouds coming across the state and back to the west. There's that cold front showing up on the radar. Good looking defined front, which should be through late tonight. So let me give you the hour by hour details. I think we're dry this morning dry this afternoon, but by evening there could be some passing showers. So keep that in mind if you have evening plans ahead of the cold front. Here comes that stronger line of some heavier rain, some rumbles of thunder that passes overnight and it's east of our area by tomorrow morning. So look for gradual clearing tomorrow morning, partly to mostly sunny skies in the afternoon, but rain it's back quickly on Sunday. We should see some showers as this front lifts back north Sunday morning, Sunday afternoon and some heavier rain developing Sunday evening into Monday. Let's talk about the severe weather risk today. It's just kind of nosing into southern Pennsylvania, southwestern Pennsylvania anyway. You can see Franklin County highlighted in this very low risk for severe weather, and I think that would be this evening. If you do see a thunderstorm, it could produce some uh, potentially strong winds. Here's a look at our Easter forecast, Easter egg hunting forecast, I should say, across the Susquehanna Valley. Big weekend for this, Jerry. Hundreds going oh, on, absolutely. I feel like. Uh, partly yeah. to mostly sunny on Saturday, a little more cloud cover in the morning, more sun in the afternoon. Sunday, you'll have to find some scattered showers but I think it's still going to be a, a nice day for egg hunts. Here's a look sure. at the seven day next week. 60s, 70s for highs, 40s and 50s for lows.